suck on these nuts, nigga, suck on these nuts. I tell them bow, wow, wow. Yippee yo, yippee yay, suck on these nuts, nigga, suck on these nuts. It ain't nothing but easy, baby. Hit a smoke two niggas, cause they crazy. Talk a gang of shit, but it don't faze me. That punk nigga Dre still fades me. Well, if it's on, motherfucker, then it's on G. Now, if it's on, motherfucker, then it's on G. Hey, Mr. Hey man, what's up? Half-Breed Billy Graham, leader of Cult Fiction, decided it's time for him to come forward and drop a little little thought, little knowledge on something that I ran across. You know, uh, the other day I was in the middle of all this other bullshit going on in my world and uh, trying, to, trying to fight for the truth. And I ran across this video, Snoop. Snoop commenting on the death of Charles Manson. And the things that he had to say, they weren't praise, they weren't love, they weren't anything spiritual, and it was kind of a, a weird, I mean, I don't even know how you put it together, bro, but like, who is this fool looking like Alice Cooper has something to say to you, bro? Well, listen, first of all, I know you don't care. Big fan of all you do, all your music, always just, I hear your voice, it makes me feel good. And, uh... I was a little disappointed. In fact, I wasn't a little disappointed. I was a lot disappointed, man, because you see, not only was I a fan of your music, but I always noticed, man, every time you won an award or something, you, you, would, you would give a shot, shout out, you know, to a higher power. It seemed like you were trying to walk a spiritual road, you know what I mean, and to go with everything else. And I thought, man, good, good, good for him. You know, and I saw that movie where Snoop Dogg went on his spiritual walk to try to find the spirit, the good energy, the good mind, one, one soul, one love. And you went to Jamaica and you went from being Snoop Dogg to Snoop Lion. And ever since, that's what I've called you. And I've even corrected people and said, nah, nah, man, that's not Snoop Dogg, that's Snoop Lion. But what's going on now, man? I mean, you're in a position, exposure, famous, you got a loud voice and a lot of people hear you and a lot of people would say that if you've got that power maybe you ought to have a little responsibility to go with that power that you seem to be taking for granted. I'm sorry about your boy Tookie. Weird comparison to take the injustice against him and compare it to Charles Manson as if he deserved more injustice than he already got. Why aren't you screaming to take the whole motherfucking system apart that did both of them. And is doing all these other brothers that are locked down right now, the same thing. What are you doing about that, Snoop, while you're talking shit on Charlie, man? Because, you know, it just doesn't seem like someone walking a spiritual path with a good mind and a good heart, one soul, one love, would utter those words just to get a little cheap heat, get a little attention on a man that can't speak back. Well, I'll speak back for him right now because what you're doing was wrong, brother. You gotta take the whole system down. You gotta educate yourself and come back and use that voice you've got to make a change, not just talk some shit, you know? So I hope you'll take my message in a good way, you know, instead of every single time you don't like something, you wanna take it back to the streets. You wanna call on your colors, on your set, right? It can't be about this, about this, about this. It's always gotta be about this, right, brother? Always gotta come down to that, right? You're gonna lead some young man out in the street with hate in his heart and do something stupid, what, to a person like me? that speaks up for the truth because they got some wrong idea in their mind because they listen to you? That shit is wrong, dude. It's wrong. So I hope, I hope that that higher power reaches down. I hope you'll get back to being a lion instead of a dog. I hope that you'll unbend your mind. I hope you'll comb the snakes from your hair, my brother. And, you know, I hope that in doing that, you can use that voice for something good and start speaking some truth instead of some bullshit. But, you know, you don't have to listen to me. And if you want, don't want to do that, I just want to make you understand something. That every single time that you put Charles Manson's name in your mouth, when you're coming from a point of no education, and you know, I might point out, point out, that you know, you're up with those fuckers in the glass tower. That's where you are. You're rubbing elbows with them. So while you're talking about Tookie and Charles Manson, what are you doing with your money right now, cuz? Are you trying to help those brothers out in there now? Or are you just trying to get somebody to do something dumb? But, you know, you can unbend your mind, have a sense of humor, a little humility, receive this message from this fool talking shit to you on the internet, 
or you won't. That's on you. But the one thing I will ask you to realize is that every time you do that, every time you speak about Charlie, when you're uneducated to somebody that is, the only thing it looks like every time you put Charles Manson's name in your mouth it's like you got his dick in your mouth. And I don't mean just like the tip, bro. I mean like Charlie's balls deep. Balls deep. Balls on your chin. Okay? So if you got to keep doing that, putting Charlie Manson's name in your mouth, his dick in your mouth, do me a favor. The next time you spit Charlie's dick out, just, you know, wipe that shit off there. You know what I mean? Because we got a lot of freaks running around that's got a, some kind of obsession with his DNA and shit. So I don't want your chin, you know, to be the means to anybody's cheap cheap payday or cash grab, you know what I mean? So, take it how you want, but yeah, take Charlie's dick out of your mouth, bro, because it don't look right. It looks real embarrassing for you, homie, all right? And uh, <laughs> what's my motherfucking name? Oh, and one other thing, that is how you cut a promo on someone, Calvin.